Okay, as I said to you, I'm just going to paint this one, this one red. As if the, if the sky is red, you can see. So I just put it in. I'll do it upside down. Normally I'm on the other side, so now I'll just do it this side. See if I just show you how easy it can be. I've also got a little bit of yellow. I mix a bit of yellow and red. And then we get a bit of an orange color, so I put a bit of an orange there. Can you see I do it this way because clouds are going that way. The nice thing when you paint, it's very relaxing. You can think of everything else when you paint. I can do that. You can do this too. You can do this too. It's so easy. You can see how easy it is. And maybe one day we can get together and we can, you can all try it yourself. You see? So the clouds are this way. That's going to be the sea. But what I'm going to do now, I'll take a bit of yellow and i just do that. Just a little bit of line there, just to make it stand up. And then if you go to the bottom now, I'm going to lift it up a little bit like this. And there too. Of course, it's a bit of yellow there. I, I bring a bit of yellow in here. But we've also got a bit of shadow there. There's a bit of a shadow effect of the, of the mountain. So I bring a bit of shadow in there. I take a bit of black. I can mix it with <coughs> some of the red. <coughs> if I mix it with water to make it runny. This is my impression of Table Mountain. It's not the real thing. This is my impression. These are rocks here that you can see. Those are rocks. I've done that with rocks. So what I do at the bottom here, I'll take my, I'll take my brush and I'll do this. Because then I'm going to have a reflection. I've got little people walking on the beach there. And I'm going to have, now I'm going to have a little bit of yellow. You know, when you do this, you get reflections. So I'll just do that. Now we've got to leave this now, so it looks like, yeah, I'm happy with that. Just my finger was in the way in the top here. We're going to leave this to dry now. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with another, another set of paint which I did previously. <laughs> this one is more a yellow one. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to take some of the, maybe some of the colors here, and I'm just going to just color the now in a little bit. Quickly, quickly, quickly. In between. In between, I can maybe put some colors there. There. Okay. And what we've got also now here is we need we need to take some white. I've got a small brush here, a very small one. There's only two brushes I use, a big one and a small one. I take a bit of white and I'm going to paint the boats now. So I just color the color the thing looks like it looks like a boat. You can ask questions if you want to, if you want to know anything while we visit videoing it. Believe it or not, this this brush I'm using is actually totally dry. <laughs> so I'm very embarrassed to use this brush at the moment. It doesn't want to do anything for me. It is totally dry. So maybe before I came, I didn't check it out, or maybe when I painted last time, I didn't clean it up. As long as it looks like boats, it's my impression of boats. Make the sharp little sharp point there and there. And sometimes 
on the boat itself, you've probably got some reflection mm. of the yellows and the reds that might be left over. Leave a little bit onto that boat there. What you normally do find also, and that is that underneath the boat, you've always got a shadowy color. So just in front of that, I'll put a little bit of black. Because there's a bit of, the sun sets from this side, there's a sunset. Then you find that this is going to be like a darker shadow color there. So just in front, a bit of shadows. Now let's say these boats that we're painting, let's say they are going to be sailing boats. So I'm going to make a bit of a, a white sail going up there. At the bottom, I'm going to have a bit of reflection. And remember, the boat also reflects a bit at the bottom of the boat. There was a bit of reflection on the sea, so I'm just going to make a few lines there. there's going to be like um, the end of the, the sea will maybe come down like that when the sea comes onto the, onto the edge sometimes you see waves it's a very calm sea today it's not a very low tide and that's, I, like the, I don't like a rough sea <laughs> Some of the waves, we put some more waves there, a lot of low tide there, as you said. Now we're nearly done, we just got to, we just got to use something else. <coughs> I've got here a cream, it's a, it's called, um, vanishing cream. Silver, <laughs> silver cream. So I'm using the silver cream, and I'm taking my finger, and I'm just touching the the mountain on top there, so it stands out a little bit. See, it stands out a little bit. When the sun sets, and you know, you're just standing this side, and you're looking at this beautiful Bloberg, looking at Cape Town, you find that that um, things are standing out. So that's when the lights are on on Table Mountain. Yeah. Okay, and I might just take my finger and just do that. You know, like a, just a clean it. That. But it's also going to happen. The same is going to happen at the. And so first time I do, first time I'm painting upside down. Eh? So just please be be be, uh, <laughs> be patient with me. But there's a the rocks too. The rocks also got a little bit of things on. And what I do is I take my finger and I. I just push it down to get a bit of reflection. Do you see? A bit of reflection of the mouth. All this, this silver must not reflect in the bottom. See, it's going to be a glance as you see here. And here, maybe I put a bit of lots of lots of silver, so I put a nice silver line there. And of lots of silver there, and a nice silver line there. Okay. And then, what we still need, we need a few buildings here. That's where my white comes in again. And I'm just going to put some paint a few buildings here. So I'll just do that like this. That's C point, by the way. Okay. At the back is the 12 apostles, but you can't see them in this sun. It's too dark at the moment. And that is now um, Lion's Head coming down in front of Cape Town. Yeah, it comes in the, in the middle of Cape Town. All those buildings. And we mustn't forget about the three pepper pots, which is always here. Because when you look at a painting of Cape Town, they always say, Where's the three pepper pots? I don't know why they call pepper pots, because when you probably get salt and pepper, so there's two of them, but there's the three pepper pots. Other one is
this master that guy. <laughs> now I've got the answer to my question. Like, oh, my gosh. in the building of it. This is, of course, devil speak. What's the question? What's the question? Mona, my yellow print is your Yeah, my print is fine. So I just make it, with this lots of white, I just let it carry through to the bottom there. Eh? Also, there's a lot of white here to get the reflection. A little bit more, more here. I can maybe take a little bit of yellow. Oh, I've used my yellow up. I've got no more yellow there. We're nearly done. We need to now bring in a little bit of um, a few people that's walking on the beach. <coughs> Maybe I must just come this side now to just get that right. I don't want people upside down yet, but I'm going to take a bit of blue. I'm just going to make a few people so I'll put and just a little bit of Some figures, not really, you know, not really people, just some figures just walking on the beach. I'm doing it very fast now, actually. Ooh, that's a what? Ooh, that's a big one. But let's just leave it like that. Even if it's like a big, lots of paint, it just fell off my brush. Maybe it's a good thing. So, so that is something, that is a, a painting that we did very quickly. And I can do 10 a day. Because then I see how quickly it goes. I can do are, you, are you bragging or complaining? I'm, uh, I'm bragging because the rest of the day I take off. You see. <laughs> if I do 10 this day, tomorrow I take off. Can I do other work? Is anything else can, I can put in here? Anything else I need to put on here that you think you feel? Okay. Just your name in the... No, yes, of course. You've got to put your name always on. And you can put my name on because that's very important. I, I must use a color that's in the painting. If you, you, if you write your name on, you must use a color in the painting. There's a lot of, there's a lot of white. Maybe I can use white. i just write my name down. <coughs> <coughs> I'll just I'll just call it Mike at this stage. Maybe I put the year down there, two eleven. For <coughs> for Mike Tanya, two eleven. And yeah, that's my painting. You name on top. Thank you.